Hello peeps, and welcome back to OnLink. Okay, I had to do something I don't normally do. I logged in, and I recorded a video. Or I was in the process of recording a video. And I determined that <clears throat> the central mainframe here is not the origin point of that hack. I got into the central mainframe, I bypassed their ACS, took down their gateway the whole nine yards, got into the central mainframe, and there's no matching bounce link. So, I went back to the one prior to that, which was this. And there's no matching bounce link there either. Well, I mean, there is. There's, there's a connection from that matches that. But if I log undelete it, it doesn't fix itself. So, I am stonewalled on this mission. But, <clears throat> I can still do it the lazy way. Let's go ahead and get our security up. And, I'm going to show you guys something that I noticed last episode as well. Where is it? I missed a spot. Thankfully, that appears to have been from a hack <clears throat> that I didn't do anything illegal in, so I had no reason to be traced. So, I dodged a bullet on that one. But, I've confirmed that there's no way to complete the trace a hacker to get Revelation Core. I tried connecting to ARC's internal services machine and viewing their links and taking the personal computers of everyone there. And I started to gather voice data for them. And I had six names. Five or six, I can't remember. All of them answered their phone. And if an agent is dead, as our agent Matt Black is, they won't answer their phone. Which means he's none of those people that I got computer links for. So that's a dead end. <coughs> Sorry, I'm... Still trying to figure out the whole coughing thing. I'm about tempted to just start taking down when I cough and mute it in post. Might actually have to do that. Okay, but onward. There is another way to do it, and it is as easy as... Well, first of all, unselecting all this... We need the ARC central mainframe and any other ARC system. It's as simple as that. That flags the beginning of the ARC mission. Now, you don't get the mad props for doing it the quote-unquote proper way. Because if you do it the quote-unquote proper way and actually get your hands on Revelation Core, ARC is like, holy shit, how did you do that? Come on. There. Thank you. Now, Unfortunately, I do have to wait for quite a bit of time before they'll actually contact me. So, we'll go ahead and disconnect from Internic. We'll go to Uplink. Go to the news server, and we're just going to hit super fast forward. Formal warning issued by Uplink Corporation. Uplink Corporation has issued a formal warning to all of its agents, warning them against accepting work for ARC. In a statement released today, they say Uplink Corporation is currently investigating the claim that ARC has been developing some type of high-tech weapon using the expertise of Freelink's Uplink agents to assist them. 
Federal agents have been called in to assist and are also pursuing the matter of a recent suicide which they believe may have been a related murder. Until blah 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 blah, don't work for ARC or we're gonna crucify you. I always have to check that every once in a while. Oh. An offer you can't refuse. Agent Night Dagger. We couldn't help but notice that you have recently been poking around in some of our computer systems, presumably attempting to determine what's happening with our company at the moment. We feel we should warn you at this time that any attempt to gain unauthorized access to our system will result in severe consequences. Pleasantries aside, you may have heard that we are hiring a number of Uplink agents recently for a yet-to-be-announced project. Your recent activities cause us to run a background check on you, and you seem to be the kind of agent we're looking for. If you'd be interested in doing some work for us, we'd love to hear from you. Reply to this email, or send one to internal at arc.net. We'll see what we can do. We think you'll find that ARC offers the best rates for freelance agents in the business. We look forward to hearing from you. Oh, it's an offer I can't refuse, so let's go ahead and send it. And, <clears throat> welcome to ARC. Here's the download button. So, in case you screw up, like I did, and your databanks are full, you can click this button here to download the attachment. Or actually, I think you have to click it. Yeah, you have to click it. It is not kidding when it says don't run this locally. Running a revelation locally is an instant game over. <clears throat> okay, they paid me 10,000 credits to help with any equipment mining I might need. Blah, blah, blah. I don't think I actually need any more equipment. Now, test run Revelation. Our corporation has been developing a software product known as Revelation for some time now, and version 1.0 is ready. In order to test and refine this program, we need to test it in the real world. Your mission will be to install and run Revelation for us. The target system is Aaron Moore Internal Services. You need to first locate the computer. No doubt Aaron Moore will not be too pleased if they catch you on their system. You'll find we've sent you version 1.0 of Revelation. Once you're inside the Aaron Moore system, copy the program to their memory banks, disrupt all of their security systems. The more security you disable, the better the program will operate, the better the product will operate. In order to access, activate the program, you will need to enter a command prompt and run it from there which basically means dropping the console. Do not attempt to run Revelation on your computer. Codename, Maiden Flight. And an email. Counter offer from a friend. Agent Night Dagger, first let us congratulate you on scoring such a lucrative deal with, a with ARC. Second, let us warn you you are making a big mistake. You must have read the headlines, and by now, you've probably guessed what ARC are up to. Our sources tell us you're about to test run ARC secret project on our computer systems. We can only pray that this message reaches you before you go ahead. Whatever ARC has offered you, we can do better. We have a vested interest in stopping ARC, so we'd like to offer you a counter proposal. Send us a copy of whatever ARC sent you, we'll reward you with 15,000 credits. You can work for us full time. Simply reply to this email with ARC's data attached. Before you answer, think about the mortal, moral implications of what you are about to do. Can you really trust ARC, who recently made the news by murdering two of their best uplink agents? So, now it comes down to this. Renegade or Paragon? Well, think... We're going to do Paragon first. Welcome to the land of 
<clears throat> Let us be the first to congratulate you, Agent. We have been totally unable to find any copies of Revelation, and we've been hoping that you would decide to work for us. Thanks to your submission, we'll now be able to catch up with the research on our counter-virus to Revelation. We've already deposited the full reward to your account. We'll have some more work for you soon regarding the project. We'll let you know. Now, this basically destroys this mission. Yes, I could go run that mission, but... I'm used to them saying screw off by now. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Warning! So, it seems you were working for the enemy behind our backs all this time. You cannot imagine how surprised we were when we heard Aaron Moore had received a complete copy of Revelation, and that it was an uplink agent who was the source. Unfortunately for you, you are the only uplink agent who could have sent him this copy. This now makes you our new enemy. Take the message however you want, but ARC will not let this betrayal go unpunished. We'll be watching you, and when we finally come after you, you're going to wish you'd never heard of Aaron Moore or Uplink. I don't respond well to threats. See how you like it. Assholes. <laughs> Eat a bag of dicks. But that made the news. <laughs> Unknown virus outbreak at ARC. <laughs> okay. Earlier today, Aramor Corporation shut down all of its primary computer systems and disconnected their internal network from the web. The disconnection lasted just under one hour, and has caused a great deal of disruption to internet traffic flowing through their systems. Aramor says they had received word they were about to be attacked by a group of hackers working for ARC. So far, Aramor has not said why they suspect the company, but is believed they had some inside information. The latest accusation kiss. ARC, in an increasingly bad light. <clears throat> yeah, don't threaten me, ARC. I will wreck you. Okay, so. I love the little blinking red light. Now, I could actually go for a game over right here. Because, if you are able to infect 20 systems... With Revelation, at any point in the game, Revelation wins. <clears throat> you basically get the ARC ending. You don't actually have to go through ARC storyline. I mean, I usually do anyway, just because it's fun. <clears throat> but, you can actually go straight for a game over here. Okay, let's go to the mission list.
frame a user, find financial details, bankrupt arrival, stop a hacker from working again. Elite agent required for destruction of computer system. Systems owned by PDRNet. PDRNet, I believe, has... I'm pretty sure they have an ACS. And I don't want to deal with anything that has an ACS. Angel Software. Hmm. <clears throat> you know what? What the hell? Let's go hit Angel. Once it's take down Angel Software Internal Services. Where are you at? You're right there. Oh, no. No ACS. This is easy. <clears throat> okay, I do have to take out the backup server, though. But, I mean, it's just a backup server. It's... There it is. Uh, they do have a lifter. And a gateway. But the gateway will only protect the mainframe. We'll take the lifter sir, uh, lifting server, too. That's done. That's done. Boom! System down. <laughs> and that is pretty much an instant hit. That hits the news almost immediately. Now, I don't know if I needed to delete what was on there before I uploaded Revelation. That's why I did it in that order. Because now I can just... If I, ha if I haven't completed the mission, I can just wait for the server to fix itself from Revelation. And go back to it. So, no big deal. No harm, no foul. Revelation seen for a second time at Angel Software. Angel Software has been attacked by a computer virus. First infected internal services. Destroyed most of the data and logs on the computer. Blah, 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 blah. Revelation is responsible.
Neuromancer rating change. My rating is neutral. Mission completed. So, running Revelation on a system counts as destroying it. Now, that doesn't mean that you should just immediately go absolutely nuts and take a whole bunch of destroy a computer missions and go launch Revelation, because remember, if you get 20 copies of Revelation running, it goes wild. 20 appears to be the... 20 approaches singularity with it. Once you've hit 20, it goes out of control, it goes wildfire, and it will end the game. Oh, shut up, cat. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and do a fast forward. Making sure I don't have a criminal record. Let's go ahead and connect and watch the news. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Federal agents are searching for the identity of a computer criminal who used a DDoS attack on Angel Software's lifting server. Gee, I wonder if it has anything to do with that. Uh, let's see here. Following the recent attempted attack on the Aaron Moore, com uh, Aaron Moore Computer Network, Aramore have announced that they've begun work on a new project dubbed Faith. The aim of this project is to stop the release of compu uh, destructed computer viruses onto the net. Company spokesmen said we cannot allow any virus, including the so-called revelation, to roam freely around in our corporate networks. Project Faith will actively seek out rever uh, revelation and other destructive viruses and will totally eradicate them. At the moment, we are seeking government assistance as this project could help everyone. A recent attempted attack on our network highlighted how weak internet security is. We intend to put a stop to this. Aaron Moore has taken the unprecedented step of offering a reward of 25,000 credits to anyone who can help them with their research into Revelation. Anyone with data related to the virus should send it to internal at aramore.net. <clears throat> New uplink service available. I'm not going to read this, but there's a new button here called Faith Progress that tells you the version of Faith and Revelation. As you complete missions for Aaron Moore, Faith goes up. As ARC completes missions, Revelation goes up. Come on. <clears throat> Give me my mission already. I'm going to grab a sip of a drink, see if that calms my cough a little. And back into super fast forward. There we go. Interest charged. I've been charged interest on the following account. I never paid off my loan. You bastards. There. So why did it charge me on the 24th of April? Federal agents release findings on ARC. 
Aramor releases details on Revelation. Basically, it is our belief that ARC was responsible for the murder of Mariana Tapper. I wonder if Mariana Tapper was Matt Black. Hmm. Let's find out. Not their name server, I need their... Not their network access, I need their name servers. So, Brain Fountain BSC Jacobs. There's Marcellus Tapper. <clears throat> Let's go back and confirm the name. Should be Mariana Tapper, but... M-A-R-A-I-A-N-A. -A -A. So, Mariana, with one N. Okay, she's not registered at BSC. There she is. <clears throat> 404. Computer not found. Bullshit, it's not found.
There's a server IP. Let's take that down. Let's actually look that up. Uplink gateway. I found her gateway. Dig further. We'll go root access. Whoa. Okay. Um that crashed my game. Apparently I'm not supposed to find that. Um, okay, so um, I guess this is where I'm going to end the episode. You guys are going to see a 32 minute episode from me and you're going to go, oh, that idiot got disavowed again. No, 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 no. I just crashed the game. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, so thank you guys for watching. Um, Man, I hope I don't have to redo all of that crap. Although, granted, I re didn't really do anything, did I? No, not really. If I did, I'll just I'll do it off camera. I'll restore from the backup and do it off camera, and we'll go from there. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later, peeps. That's a new one.